what's up everybody bet you can't guess where i'm at now the old historic jail downtown newark ohio ooh, ooh. so got some notes with me as always because i like my history stuff so i'm going to tell you guys a little bit of history about this place okay this place this jail built 1889 it is the fourth jail in Newark Ohio Let's see what else we got here there were four sheriffs all suffered heart attacks in the sheriff's quarters Jeez. okay there's some pretty pretty gruesome stuff here that I googled and I found so there's actually a location across the street that I'm gonna to have to go and show you that relates to this story, but I'll tell you that uh, there's a lot of suicides here. Uh, the place is definitely for sure haunted. <laughs> um, this actually was on Ghost Adventures. Um, they did a they did an episode here, and I guess some girl was doing an investigation here and she uh a spirit attached itself to her and like followed her home and stuff i think i don't know but uh yeah some other uh interesting stuff i got here for you Let's see this uh lady her name was may varner she set her own clothes on fire to uh, off herself. Uh, well, actually, she was. She tried to overdose, and then they took her to the hospital for treatment. And then after the hospital, they brought her here to this jail. Um, all that she had was a match. She used to set her clothes on fire. And I believe, I think it was on one of those, I think it was the second or third story. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so that's it for that story. So I'm going to tell you another. Let's see. Another story here is that uh, this place housed... Laura Bell Devlin. She was 72 years old. And uh, she killed her husband. She cut off his arms and his head. And then she cooked them in her oven. She was known as the handsaw slayer. Yeah. They housed her here. And then I have another story. If anybody is familiar with the... Uh, 22 caliber killers they were housed here too Thaddeus and Gary Lewington they robbed and shot 10 people across three countries 22 caliber killers kind of creepy but definitely not as creepy as the old lady who killed her husband and hacked him up and cooked him yeah that's pretty gross I mean it that's gruesome and the lady setting herself on fire is pretty gross but uh I have one more story to tell you and it happened on July 8th of 1910 July 8th 1910 okay so uh Carl Etherington, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. He was a detective with the Anti-Saloon League of... I can't even read my own handwriting. Oh, Anti-Saloon League of Ohio. Meaning, he came to Newark and he was trying to stop anybody selling illegal alcohol. Okay, so... 
he went into this bar saloon and uh, he got into an altercation with the owner and he, apparently he shot the owner and uh, William God, I can't even read that <laughs> okay his name was William that's I, I can't read the last name when I wrote William Howard I think was his name yeah yeah William Howard and self-defense so they ended up taking him down here to this jail they brought him here and uh, after that a mob formed and then this so-called mob broke into this jail and they took Carl right across the street which I will show you in a second. I will drive my car over there. They took him across the street and they hung him on the street corner. Now I'm gonna cut to a quick pic of, I found online, of this hanging. It was legit, like right on the street corner. And here is the pic. So with this hanging, this mob, and a total of 58 people were indicted. 58 people got charged. I think 25 got charged with murder. You know, there was some stuff here and there that people, others got charged for. But, um, it's a really historical place. It's really old. I haven't been inside it, but I've been out here. I've done pictures and stuff. Um, it's been on ghost adventures i know chad Lindbergh was here he did a ghost hunt a while back um there's been a lot of ghost hunts here uh and they do a uh, thing called the jailhouse rock every year for halloween a lot of people come here and they dress up and they do like a spooky thing uh that's pretty cool but uh yeah that's a little bit of history on the newark jail downtown newark ohio it's an interesting building uh if you're in here you watch my videos and you're from newark obviously you know about this place but if you're not and you're in ohio and you're near newark come by check it out take pictures that they actually uh do tours inside so you can go and tour i don't know how much it is or how long it is but you can go in see all the stuff I know there's three floors to this and then the lady who set herself on fire, I believe what I heard was somewhere on the third floor, way up there, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, very informational, I like history stuff so my videos might have a little bit of history stuff behind them, so yeah. Newark, Ohio, the old Newark jail. Come check it out, it's historical. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Behind me is the street corner where they hung Carl Etherington for the uh, shooting he did at the saloon. He shot the uh, owner of the saloon, mob drug him out of the uh, jail, which is literally right behind this building. So it's about a football field away from this corner right here. They uh, drug them all the way out here, strung them up right here on this corner, right in front of women, kids. There's a whole bunch of people out here, I guess. Um, yeah, right here on this corner. Crazy stuff to see, crazy things to think about. Never think that kind of stuff happens right here until you do your research about your hometown and you find out crazy stuff like that who knew right here i live like 10 minutes away from this place crazy to think about must have been a car show somewhere today you know, all these challengers chargers rolling by but uh yeah it's literally right across the street from the courthouse which I'm assuming was here when that happened. But, uh, yeah, 
Let's see if I can try and get a shot. See, there's a street corner. And if I back up far enough, kind of, right there, that building right there is the old jail. So you can see they didn't drag them that far. I mean, they kind of did. How you doing? Pretty good. No idea who that was. It's a random pedestrian. But uh, yeah, it wasn't that far of a, uh, a drag, but I guess if you're being beaten the entire way. But uh, yeah, interesting stuff. There's a random guy. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed.